All right, everybody. So it looks like um, it's midnight right now, <laughs> and uh, my phone had given me an alert around 11:30 saying you got software available for download and update. And I was like, "Cool, let's do it." And uh, of course, that means I'm gonna have to come out and check it out as soon as it's done. So, welcome to version 10. Um, I'm kind of surprised that right here on the release notes the first thing they talk about is Cuphead. Sure, okay, that's cool, but seriously, this is probably going to be the coolest thing. And um, the smart summons, if used and worked well, um, could be one of the greatest uh, sort of features that this new software has, and if it works well, it's going to probably be a game changer. Um, then there's also the Tesla Theater, which again, this is going to be one of those things that's just going to make things like sitting in your car either waiting for your kid at school or uh, supercharging or any of those other things where you've got to wait for other people much more enjoyable. I, th I think this is going to be like one of the best things. Of course, Spotify being supported, that's great. The karaoke, another could be cool kind of thing. The driving visualization. Um, I, I'm not really sure because I haven't driven yet to know exactly what this is going to look like, but uh, it does look like the interface is different with the way this picture is with the automatic lane change. Um, can't wait to give that a try. I'll give it a try in the morning on my way to work. Um, the, are you feeling lucky or hungry? I'm really curious about what the lucky is. I'll give it a couple tries and see what it gives me as a destination. Um, improvements to the map. New changes to the mobile app, including being able to uh, open garage doors and remotely thaw your car. Um, you could pretty much do that before. I'm not exactly sure what the thaw your car is versus the just preheat your car, but um, I guess I'll find out. Uh, improvements to the dash cam, which includes rear facing camera, uh, the backup cam. That should be cool. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff. Don't know if you picked up on that. Um, some changes to the sentry mode, Joe mode, which I really don't understand, although I guess it, it means that the interior alert sounds will be muted a little bit or attenuated from what they normally are, so they're not such a, a nuisance. Uh, better details on the software updates, including like what version is now being downloaded and uh, better status updates on its installation process. Um, the Bluetooth media updates, including being able to uh, have album art show, which will be very nice. Um, 48K audio is another nice benefit. Um, application launcher, where they've put uh, the phone back on the left side, which will be nice, and driver profiles, um, more things are, I guess, being saved now, and better feedback, I'll say, um, as that's going on when things are getting changed to your profile. So, ooh, that's actually kind of cool. So, the arcade and the theater. Let's go to YouTube. Wow. Let's go. It's a Christ Weasel. It's nice that they give you the screen brightness and the temp and the volume up at the top. Um, there we go. Pretty cool. Tesla has done it again. They've released a new. So, that's kind of neat. They've got a new arcade slash theater um, front end. And you can see there's some cool graphics for the different games. Wow, they got the original Asteroid. Ooh, it's Super Breakout. It looks like it's right from the 2600. Those are very 
very cool old school game logos my current favorite go ahead try and beat my high score um, and then theater we've got the Netflix, Hulu, YouTube and Tesla tutorials what that is. Wow. Super bright. Oh. Okay. Same things from their website. It just takes you to the Tesla webpage. Um, I don't know if you can access the full browser from here. Nope. This is something limited to just that part of their website. can probably sign in, yeah. Alright, so we cover that. And, nice. <clears throat> Let's see what else can I check real quick. Let's look at the new settings for... Customize Summon. Okay, well it's kind of the same as it was before. Standby mode. Someone will remain in standby when car is put into park. Hmm. Don't know what that means. Not really any obvious changes to. That's probably. Good screen not to have up there. Oh, uh, need to have a compatible game controller, which I do. I just don't have it plugged in right now, so I will uh, get that plugged in tomorrow. It will be interesting to see if I can do a two-player version of this with two Xbox controllers. Alright, that's it for now.